but Whippo's right behind him and he's already based, has the Iron Spike, we're pushing in wave, Whippo's here to respond. There's the stun, Whippo on his way, but Whippo just wants to protect oh. Wonder, dodging away with the Blade Surge, and Wonder almost down, Whippo has the flash, Wonder somehow still alive, Adam. and a walking forward straight into the waiting arms of Yankos, one more, no! Oh. but Whippo takes it! Is he dead as well? No, gets it! Oh. He's dead as well! looks to try and get to the execute onto Razor, but they don't actually kill him. Let's pause it right here. So the, <laughs> the the smite comes down and now everyone from Fnatic is all trying to kill Razor. Well, look at the Baron. It's a 55 <laughs> HP and no one is focusing it down. So let's now roll the clip once again. I think his E comes through. His E actually <laughs> ends up securing the Baron. Keep your eyes on Bwipo here, as you can see him flashing over the wall. This is what we in the professional industry would call a little grief. What his team needs him to do, and now Niski's going to initiate this fight. We're going to focus on the teleporters. Adam will jump into the fray. We'll get back to this in just a moment. Fnatic have already found themselves a kill there onto Vanda. But Vitio and Razork, they're back. They're chasing out upset, and Adam is coming in from behind. These team oh, fights no. are never never ending and they never go well for misfits the shockwave pulls adam backwards teleport available for vto he's on the bottom lane Cobby's making his way from base the channel is coming in quickness thrown out his charm is knocked he's locked that's a flash away from vto and upset face plants the wall okay immortals they have come to uh -oh. play here they want sword art as well they're gonna get him no, he crashes oh, crash down. down, he dodges the bomb. The satchel won't kill through a shield. And Raze has no escape. Ah! Raze, that was a mistake. <laughs> Let's be clear. Oh you goofed, my, my friend. It's, it's actually... Oh, oh is this boy dead? Back? He's just better than everyone else in mages. Raze, ah! he does it all. Flash, empowered stun there. Cersei playing bodyguard as best as he can, trying to this keep Spica away. Revenge has missed the ult. That yeah, was... I mean, a little shameful. Uh, it sucks for your last game of the year. As easy as you believe it to be, mm -hmm. there was that one loss to them in yeah. game number three. A powerful Ziggs, a jungler yeah. there to back him up. What was your takeaway there? Well, I mean, I think kind of a coach guy. <laughs> to be honest, I think, you know, it's fine to drop a game in best of three. Fudge said on the desk that he thinks it's going to be another 3-0 for C9. What's Fudge? your response? I don't know. I think Fudge is... You know, he's, he's smoking some good stuff. Um, I think uh... it's just a better scenario for you, but Fnatic, they're so good at finding pigs. Well, can they kill Vanda? He's able to flash away right now. That Encore board sometime, plus the exhaust. Whippo's going to try to stand on no. that one, but he interrupted it. Doesn't manage to escape. Instant pause coming out there. At 19.15 in the game, Fnatic reported a bug that potentially stopped Fiego from teleporting through the Rise alt, but League officials have concluded, concluded that this is an intended interaction. The Encore is available. When does Vanda throw it? It has to be be huge here it is not out the realm warp is being channeled and jumping right on top of here the knock comes back the uncle catches five and we have another pause oh my word are you kidding me here we go nice little ad for pro I'm view there that's well played clicks out of it well he's definitely clicking out but that looked kind of strange. So League officials have investigated and confirmed that since Hillisang was pathing out of the ultimate and close to the edge, this is an intended interaction. Let's go, guys. For North America at Worlds. Here we go, though. Blabbers just walking up oh for the dive. Boy. I love the gank. The wave set so well. Fudge set it up. Who's going to knock it down? It's Impala, oh! baby! You cannot stop him! Oh, not going to be able to commit to it. out of there is Sven once again with the ulti. Cloud9 go back, they get the wave and they get Sven that money. Yeah, they're happy with what they have here, but TP coming through from Cloud9. It's perks. Oh, oh! Contracts! Camping Cobby in the middle lane. 123 CS to the 109 of Upset. Cobby's been left alone. They're not doing that just yet. They're trying to make sure that the pit is clear. There's no feast just yet for Adam Aydu. And Vito, he might try and kill Upset. Oh, Upset says a lot. The Wolves! For a few moments longer. The Wolves! Looking for the auto attack. Not going to do it. Just like they finally do. And PGL with Yamato and Niski. As we go, uh, let's also get a preview of tomorrow's ah! series. To be honest, I didn't watch the Mad Lions against G2.
Okay. Like, uh, <laughs> Sunday I don't care, but I was preferring playing solo queue. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how Huhi did 76 damage total, <laughs> but Jensen hitting the almost 3k is exactly what they need there. Realm Warp's gonna show up, and Abadog is immediately ready to go after Tactical. He sidesteps some of it, but not all of it. He's already down, and now we're gonna see if Team Liquid can find anything on the back end of the fight. FBI does lose his Immortal Shield, but Procore oh! JJ! Four-man engage on Huntress <laughs> Thieves! Oh, and they five. will be torn to shreds! Closer gets one on the very back end, but they're gonna take him out too. The hero of the day, the hero of an A, Core JJ! And then, this is the big moment. Core JJ, Ooh. Flash jumps in with the ultimate on. Gets all of them with the E snapback as Jensen comes through, scatter the weak. There's not a control mage like a Syndra or Oriana that you have to worry about. They are the new standard. Let's see who locks their spot in the LCS <laughs> LEC Summer Final next Sunday. I always think that they stole uh, the trophy that I, that I deserve. That's true, we stole their trophy. <laughs> when I'm playing my best, I think that I'm the best AD kid in by far. Armor um, there getting ready after having such a stellar performance in game one on that Jace. Of course, aided a lot by the fact that Elioi Humanoid decided to set up a tent in his lane. Just keeps roaming around to help out these solo laners, which are the win conditions for Mad Lions. Armor's gonna trade onto Odwamna here and push him away. All in coming oh, no, in. Wins this. He's got the ghost. He wins these. There's the Brittle. He's a tank, DPS, mage, wizard, assassin. It's on. Poke coming out. Trimby low. Here comes the Realm Warp. Well. They're going to the run it down warp. mid. They're bringing in the minions and they're sprinting at the Olympics. Ended a couple Double of weeks TP? ago. Double TP. But that's to the base. And perhaps Mad Lions, you can just turn back. You can just turn back. They don't have TPs anymore. It's the bait and switch. Oh, low. It's the bait and switch. As you say, Call of the Portugal going out. It's looking for Humanoid. And Yoya keeping Trimby and Hunt Summer busy over to the other side. It's fine. Flash away. Kick onto Humanoid. The Sonic Wave connects as well. But Humanoid able to pop the Summer to keep himself alive. Hunt Summer doing so much work. Hunt Summer doing so much work. Down towards the bottom side, Elioia. locked up! Inspire is gonna get the kill off towards the top side as well, and Yoya has to do so much here! Kazi trying to damage as well! Armored gets the kill! Inspired and Larson still chasing in, and Yoya, what can you do? Can you get a stun down? Rogue win. down! Rogue win the fight! But the GA saved his life, he sold it now, and he's still 13,000 <laughs> damage! <laughs> what? Inspired is so cautious Sorry. of that fight. Here we go! Kaiser, no way, you're gonna do this again, Hunt Kaiser! Hunt Summer tries to flash away, but he face plants! And just after praising him, Hunt Summer makes such a big mistake that he may have cost his team the game. He is still alive here. Hunt Summer's dead. Trimby's gonna go down as well. Inspire jumps across the wall, but Trimby's down. We're all tied up here, going into our uh, we'll call it second half of the series. I know it's not okay. quite there, but you know what? I'm rounding up, so we can wait. Does, did that <laughs> shopkeeper just bonk that yak on the head? I've, do you ever notice? They did I, that? I did not catch it. I didn't see a thing. My head was turned. Somebody called Peter the Where's shopkeeper's the... beating up the yak. What do you think Team Liquid needs to do just to be able to break the uh, confidence that 100 Thieves is building? Uh, kill the enemy nexus. Everything in the solo lanes, par for the course, with teleports ready to go. As, oh, we already got the engage here in the bottom lane. Tactical getting engaged on as everybody's got the focus. FBI's got a lot of spears in him, though, and he's got to be careful. Tactical with a flash over the wall. It's first <laughs> block for FBI. Auto attack for auto attack. I'll see you in hell. I don't think Armut's worth much either. He is 0 3 0 right now. Oh, okay, Drew 2 is falling as well. Wow, Roker gonna get. <laughs> oh, hang on. TP flank coming in. Humanoid looking for Oduwamne. Oduwamne does. Oh, the arrow is gonna hit him. Oh, Ammo oh. Frost into Ammo. We got a veritable William Tell on the rift here as Hans Summer, as Kazi, sorry, hits it from downtown. El Yoyo will get the shutdown onto Oduwamne. What a shot. As we go to a break, let's have a preview of that series. G2 versus Fnatic. I caught it. You ruined <laughs> it. You ruined everything. And I was telling my team, if you guys want to win this game, you should kill Jace at least once. Good, and good I advice. think Karzi did his like best ish gameplay. Uh -huh. He ult he hit the ult. Like in screams, it never happened before, so <laughs> 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 this win does mean that the Mad Lions uh, lock at least top two. We Meaning dodge play -ins. You officially cannot get stuck in the play ins. <laughs> Karzi on his lonesome killed off by Hans Summer. But don't get cocky now because, by the way, remember we have cards in our team, okay? What? Hey. Dude, but still okay, yeah, playing. Okay, it's in the GA, now he's dead! Oh, no, I'm trying to get away! Let me get the soul! <laughs>
fact, it was an upset for them to win, or rather to, to be beaten by TL. Oh, smite uh, diff! Oh, that sucks for Blabber. The early <laughs> smite. Oh yeah, Blabber is gonna get flanked. He has a Varus nearby. He has summoners in an ultimate, and hey, now Blabber's on a control one, so he feels safe. He doesn't feel safe! <laughs> Pika is in there, Shockwave misses, and just barely the man lives. Hasn't looking good. And TSM, they're looking for a bit more perks. Uh, that minion, yeah, you are... Uh... I think that was an intentional execute because there's a TB behind him. Yeah, no, Peewee holding the wave. Minions are in, though, hitting the turret. The turret's getting low, and Perks gets his revenge! <laughs> <laughs> and when your tear is fully stacked, I know that you come calling. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to agree with Vedi on this one. Uh, G2, 3, 2. <laughs> 3, 1 instead of the 3, 2. The copium. The copium. Wow. Jakos is happy with that. <laughs> oh, Hillesang playing so aggressive, going for every single Q. Hits another one onto Mickey. No heal. Reckless cleanses, thinking he had heal. Fnatic still have heal. Hillesang oh, looking for more. For Mickey. Oh, oh, they both the flash! Meaning that he couldn't then get out of the fight. Six kills to five on the scoreline. It's still a thousand gold lead here. For They're just Fnatic. hitting each other. The portal combat. Oh, no. <laughs> they wanted to fight or get a Baron at the very least because TikTok was on the clock. And G2 put the party on stop. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna find a slow. Is it enough? Fudge, as he builds the Fury, can go to level six. Mega oh. Perks just whiffs the ulti. Man, it really, Perks just overextending and trying to get out. One of the few ways yeah. potentially back in for Cloud9. We know. Oh, oh, he sidesteps it. Depending on how quickly they kill those dragons, but C9 looking like they might want to take a fight. Oh. Oh. Flashes, look for the Q. Lost gonna flash that one again, finds his stun. This is gonna be a lot of CC. Gets the ulti across, but they will still knock down the Nautilus. A third comes in for Sven. It's 12 to 4, and TSM, they can buy a Ross, but they can't buy a win. I think game one, they didn't do any, anything actually. I just like threw the game completely by ulting bots. So, for example, after that, I was like, wow, okay, it might be a long series because I'm just running it down. It's funny because we didn't plan on playing Diana really in this game. Really? This kind of happened when they picked Rice. First pick, we're like, whoa, this guy picked Rice. He doesn't play Rice, right? So we thought there's no way this is allowed. He can pick Rice into Diana really. So Perks and Byron were like, bring Diana Aurelia. Then Mitty goes like, uh, what, guys? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, no, we're not. And then they're like, yeah, we are. And then Fudge picks Vars because he's confused. And then we're like, um, now we're here, so. It was more a spur of the moment. Under Thieves, I think, has shown a couple things in the postseason that were lacking in those final weeks of regular season play. Uh, just one more time, give me a couple of your thoughts ahead of that matchup. I mean, they're just a merch company, right? So, uh, <laughs> I think... Buy the ultimate from the, uh, the, 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 the pipe. This is like freeze frame before disaster strikes. Because the problem for Fnatic is they're now splitting themselves up right down the middle. This bottom half is going to be separated from these three right here. And on first glance, this looks really good for the side of Fnatic. And the ward on his own red will spot out Whipper when he goes towards it. And again, like we said, top lane so much trading. Right. Wonder and Adam. Adam's ready. Adam can kill him here. Adam just kills him! And G2 just trying to make a pick here, trying to catch out Hillesang. Will he fall for it? Glacial Fisher comes out, Hillesang will fall for it, yes, he as he often does. If you lose, you're out. Yep, that's yep. how it works. Make, don't make playoffs, don't make worlds. <laughs> exactly. <Classic. laughs> don't make playoffs for you. I mean, Reckless said it earlier today. He said, this is all that matters to me. Well, Wonder is alone in top. He has Flash, so he should be okay. I think Whipple's just covering this wave for Crash. Adam building up that passive as well. We'll pull Wonder back with Wonder waiting on his... Oh, Adam! Butcher, Wonder, Adam goes in, Adam underneath the tower, he's gonna die, Wonder! He's gonna TP back here to force Wonder off another wave. Maybe he can get the kill, Wonder's being really greedy here! Wonder going in with the Hexagon automated, what was that, Adam? Both these teams paying respect, mostly in this top side is where we've seen the kills, and Adam going on to Wonder once again. They're just a bit short on the Decimate there, can still trade in, of course. The passive gives you a lot, he's gonna pull him back for the effort. I think he's dead. There we go, Guillotine! Hillisang's looking for a pick here, Yankos might him. be in trouble, yes, he available. He has got Flash, the best of G2 have to collapse quickly, but Yankos is down before G2 can get in there. And now the flank is on, nope. the realm will come down. Oh, and Whippo! With the pillar! Whippo stops G2's retreat right in its tracks. Shutdown comes out for Reckless, because he's gonna get killed to the other side. Hillisang kills off Reckless, and now Fnatic have found it. Caps trying to step in from the side, but Hillisang has rejoined his team after dying earlier. The X Flash, oh, of course, flash. will distract Caps. Can they chase him down? Flash! Red, Red card! card! It's like watching Reggie all over again, but it's enough to slow down Caps. Fnatic will join Mad and Rogue at Worlds for Europe, and G2 are going home. Fnatic make it through to Worlds. Um, I think G2 wasn't playing that good either. They were a bit trolling. 
especially Wunder, I would say. <laughs> I hear that there's a story connected to that in that you scrimmed G2 actually in K-Corp and mm -hmm. picked Olaf. What's up with that? Uh, yeah, so I was in K-Corp, so we indeed scrimmed G2 and I blind picked uh, Olaf, right? And I think it was uh, playoffs for G2, playoffs time, it, because it was EU Masters for me. Yep. So I blind picked Olaf and um, Wonder considered that it would be useless practice for him to pick a correct jump against Olaf. So he actually picked Yumi <laughs> just to troll his teammates. So, I mean, not to troll, but like he uh, apparently don't want to play the game. And uh, <laughs> maybe uh, he should have picked a good champ, so he would have practiced more against my Olaf today. Mm -hmm. And I heard that you put in chat when you played Olaf. Yeah, I was. Where's yeah, Yumi? I wrote uh, no Yumi such. Okay, yeah. I see. Um, uh, how do you enjoy the mental warfare of everything and kind of the pressure and playing around with it? Which kind of pressure? He didn't pause a single time, Niski! It's true, it's true. I mean, I mean, they were blaming us for the pauses, and I was like, okay, I would beat them without pausing today. I bet you um, were like, this is a bug, but I'm not gonna no, no. pause. Okay. Fun fact, we were actually thinking, because Upset was like lagging in game one, Yeah. and it was like, I should I pause? And I was like, no, no, please, just, just, like, just play, you know? And, uh.